We've got a really cool project coming up for you today. Today's video is sponsored by Casper. They make fantastic mattresses, and I thought if we're gonna have a great mattress, we should have something great to put it on. So today, we are building the world's coolest bed frame. This is not your ordinary bed frame. Trust me, it's gonna be amazing. We've got all our supplies, we've got a bunch of tools, so it's time to get started. And the first thing I actually did was to draw the whole frame on SketchUp. This is something I'm gonna use as a reference to make sure I'm getting all of the right number of pieces and the right sizes and the right shapes and all of that good stuff. But for now, I think what we need to do is take some of these four by fours and cut them down to size. At Home Depot, I requested that they cut these boards to 23 inches and they were pretty close. I got one eighth of an inch under 23 inches. That's why I measure to make sure so I don't end up with these posts being too long. So now we're gonna measure just under 23 inch segments and cut those off of our four by four beams. Beautiful, perfect fit. Now you can see the very beginning of what we're going for. The box is definitely not finished, but this will be one of the front pieces that will be near the back. There's actually going to be an extension beyond this, but this is the size of the storage that we're gonna have inside. Next, I'm also gonna cut a piece that goes right along in between these two four x four posts that will divide it right in the middle and offer support down the middle of the bed. You've seen that I used a lot of screws to attach the 4x4s to these boards here. These ones do not have that, and although there will be a 4x4 beam about in the middle on this, what I'm gonna do to attach it to these is drill holes all the way through and use some carriage bolts, and that will give a really strong connection to the post, which will make it so there's no play, there's no wobble, but it also makes it so I can easily take it apart when I need to move this. This piece here can fit through pretty much any door frame and through any hallway that I need. The whole bed in its entirety can't, but it should easily dismantle down into pieces that I can carry or move. After discussing it with a friend of mine who's an electrician, I started working on the electrical portions of the bed. This thing is gonna have lights, electricity, speakers, the whole works. Two hours later. Oh, the main frame of the bed is now assembled. We've got all of the stuff to install into the headboard, but I think at this point I'm gonna throw the mattress on, but it's time for the unveil. I have been using a Casper mattress for several months now and I love it. It's got like layers of different densities of foam to give like just the right balance between bouncy and soft so there's like no pressure points and stuff. It is a super great mattress. I definitely love it. Guys, if you're doing what you're supposed to, you should be spending one third of your life asleep in bed, getting eight hours of sleep. So you want to make sure that you spend that time well and be comfortable. I also really appreciate how convenient they make it to order. It comes delivered straight to your door in a box that's surprisingly small. You're not really sure how they squished a mattress down like that. And you get a 100 night sleep on it trial. So you actually get to use it for like three months. If after your 100 day trial, you decide it's not for you, they have hassle-free returns. Shipping to you and returning it is free if you're in the US and Canada. If you want to get your own very cool, super comfortable mattress, head over to casper.com slash thekingofrandom and use promo code thekingofrandom to get 50 bucks off of select mattresses. Guys, the bed is done. This has been a crazy big, very fancy, very complicated build, but I am very excited to have it all finished and to show you what it can do. First off, it's a king size mattress and you can see that there's space on it. In fact, if you look underneath the bed cover, there's actually just a little bit of extra space going all the way around and that was intentional. 
I am quite tall. I can quite easily get into this bed without any effort, but a shorter person may want something to put a knee on as they climb up into the bed or something like that. So there is just a little bit of a border going all the way around. On the end here, that also works to help lift up and down. Now the whole point of this box shape and everything was that there's storage underneath it. And we have a six foot wide, six foot long, two foot tall storage broom underneath this bed. Because it does have the two gas struts installed, it lifts up pretty easily, even with the mattress on top of it. You can see I've got a lot of space down there. You can throw whatever you want. It's gonna be well protected, well secured, and you're not gonna have to worry about whether this platform is gonna collapse onto it or anything, because it is super sturdy. Overall, this thing is strong and has just a lot of space underneath it. Um, I've got some lights just in case you need more visibility down in there. There's actually not a lot of need for it. You can see on this side, you can look all the way into the back of it and you have pretty good lighting, but just in case. You can see I've got LED strip lighting going all the way around. Let's take a closer look at how that's being installed. Plugged into a power strip that we'll show you in a minute is just an LED control box. That's got some wires that come over to here. This right here is the IR receiver for the remote control. This was just a roll of strip lighting that I bought online. It didn't come in these plastic sheets. So I actually bought the track as well. So I installed the track and then I installed the lighting inside that. I had to solder in a little bit of wire as a joint so it would be able to go around the hinge when I open the bed. And then of course it goes back into more track lighting. So this goes all the way around to the other side. Let's take a look at it with the lights off because it looks pretty cool. Beautiful under lighting. It's very fun. All sorts of colors. It comes pre-programmed in the remote with a whole bunch of different colors. I actually often like to use red before I'm going to sleep. It makes it easier for you to fall asleep. Blue lighting is gonna keep you awake a little bit more. But if you're not trying to go to sleep, then it has just so many colors. Party room, what? While I've got the lights off, I can show you another handy little thing. It's got these two goosenecked lamps that I can turn on. These are just nice little reading lights. You can control it from one side. If you find that it's too bright, they're actually dimmable as well. So if I just hold my finger on it, it can get brighter. Tap it again and hold, and it gets dimmer. Both sides of the bed have an outlet with two plugs and two USB ports. It's very convenient for anything you may want to charge or leave plugged in on your bed. I've also gone ahead and included some cup holders on each side. Sometimes you just get thirsty. It holds it really nicely and the cup holders are collapsible. So if you've got nothing in there, you don't have to worry about accidentally bumping into it as you get in and out of the bed. I also have a couple of speakers built into both sides of the bed and the controls are built into the center of the headboard here. Speakers are set up so you can either use an aux cord or you can just run it all through Bluetooth. Casper foam mattresses, they sleep pretty cool. You don't tend to overheat in them like you do in some kinds. I, however, actually tend to run fairly cool anyway, which means that I like a little bit more heat. So what I've done is I just have a heated blanket all over my bed underneath the cover and the control for that just sits right here next to my head. The cord is running under the mattress to here and then the power cord comes down. I have two power outlets on the top, but I've also added power outlets on the inside of the legs here. This is partly because I've covered up the outlet in the middle of the wall behind the bed and I didn't want to make it so you can't use it anymore. So I've wired both of these, there's one on each side, into that center outlet and so we still have power. You know, if you're vacuuming the room or something like that, you need to be able to plug stuff in. Or if you have a heated blanket on your bed, you need to be able to plug it in somewhere. So that's why I've also added some outlets here. And I did put them on the inside so that they aren't really obtrusive. They don't get in the way, you don't see them too much, but they are there when you need them. I've added four workbench casters onto the bed. Two here in the back and two on the inside of the storage box. Workbench casters are the type where the wheel is actually not in contact with the ground. It looks like it is because this carpet is pretty thick, but the wheel is not in contact with the ground until we engage it. When we do that, the wheel engages and it actually lifts up the frame that it's on. With all four casters engaged, it's possible to actually just roll the bed a little bit. 
it's not a great system because it is on carpet and it's still really big and heavy, but it's a lot easier than if you didn't have those on there. With it pulled out, we can also take a look behind the bed and see what's going on. Here are the plugs. And you can see that this outlet would really be pretty inaccessible if it were behind this bed. So what I've done is I've set up everything to be wired into the bed itself. One plug is coming into this big old power strip that I've attached with these two makeshift brackets. And most everything plugs into that. We've got our two bed lights plugged into that. We've got our speaker system plugged into that. And we have the under lighting all plugged into this power strip. The other plug is what's powering the four outlets going around. The outlets aren't on the same circuit as the speakers, the lights, and the under lighting. They have their own circuit and it just goes all the way around. So the four are on one circuit. Obviously I can't run too much power out of all of them at once, but they're mostly for things like the electric blanket or charging my laptop overnight. You can also see I've got a little piece of foam right here. This is a furniture slider and it's just to make sure that if the bed does touch the wall itself, it's not gonna scratch it up too much. Quick note about the bed frame. First off, thanks to my friend Travis for helping me come up with the design. Second, if you are interested in building one of these for yourself, I have posted the SketchUp file design of this bed in the description for the video. It doesn't have instructions on how to build it. It just shows you all the pieces and where they go. You will have to do a little bit of figuring out of how to attach everything yourself. Thanks again to Casper for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you want to get your own very cool, super comfortable mattress, head over to casper.com slash the king of random and use promo code the king of random to get 50 bucks off of select mattresses. Remember, shipping is free in the US and Canada and you get to try your mattress out worry free for 100 days. Guys, that's all for today, but the fun doesn't end here. That box up at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you hit this bomb in the center, you'll be subscribed to our channel and that way you will never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.